All right, everyone, welcome back to season seven, week number three of the competitions in the Hunter here on the channel. And we are back at the hunt. And as many of you can tell where we're at, a beautiful map. We are back here, dropped off in Africa on Berhanga Savannah. Looking forward to this, haven't been here in a little bit, but being here means we're gonna be looking for all kinds of species. I'm definitely going to be looking for a few of my favorites, but this time we are after the Gimsbok. And then the special thing is it's golds only, so we're not looking for diamonds, although we are looking for diamonds. We're hoping for a troll to win, but we want to get in that top three with a gold. If we get a diamond, it will not count, but it'll be just fine in our trophy lodge, that's for sure. But golds only and males or females, so either sex counts. Now we're going to have to remember to pay attention to that. That's going to be not normal for me to look for. And I'll see if I can keep that in my pocket and remember when I'm spotting. Hopefully I do. Now, again, that top three, we can do that one more time this season. And we will certainly be looking to get up on the top of this competition. Now, I'm also here for other trophies. And that means the lion, the cape, all those type of things. I will definitely give them some time for sure. The other two awards we can get are the sniper award, which is for... The farthest single shot taken with the 50 inline muzzle loader on a Gimsbok, which is, yeah, I forgot to say, we are using our muzzle loader, our inline muzzle loader. We haven't got this out for a very long time, and this Sabo goes up to class 8, and that is what Gimsbok are, so it's going to max it out. We'll see what the penetration and track time is going to be for that. Hopefully, we don't have too much trouble with that, but we'll see. Anyway, the Sniper Award for the single shot with the 50 in line on either male or female, by the way. It counts either way. As well as the Jackalope for the lowest scoring Gimsbok. Male or female, doesn't matter. i got to remember that. Look for the littlest ones even in females. So we'll see how that works out for us. But anyway, let's get on the road here and get into finding some Gimsbok. I appreciate you being here. Hope you enjoy the video. Uh, let's get to it. This one got some potential, so I think we're going to go for this. I don't even remember my yardage on this. 160s. Alright. So let's try to get in there. I think we can just do that. We'll see what this can do here. Definitely hit her. Not sure how well that's gonna work. Oh, is she dropping? Keep her eye on her because it is dark. She got some nice long horns. Good starter. What's that little one back here? What is that little one? I wanna, I wanna keep my eye on it too. Right. Oh, it's just a three. Oh, baby horns on a three. All right, reload, let's go find out. All right, currently <laughs> early, first night. The leader is at 314, let's see if we got that. 334, yes, that'll put us in the lead, so we definitely wanna grab her. 314 with our Kermit, oof, went right through that leg bone, just missed the heart. Look how close that was. You talk about shaving it. Man, almost had a drop shot. <laughs> 334 with our Kerman. It's going to hit it at 220 yards, catching that single lung. So we're definitely going to want a nice, safe shot in there. And it did drop quite a bit. If I remember right, I aimed pretty high up toward the high lung. And we got a good drop on it. So we're going to mess with the sniper war. We're going to probably have to really bump it up. But uh, there we go. We're on the board first first animal we take and it should put us on the lead so we'll make sure to get our screenshot and get back at it all right well, we've taken a we're about the we're gonna try to just take a shot here and see at this yardage if we can even hit it oh we did we did we did we won't know but so we we're just under the first dot in the 450s range somewhere in that ballpark um, just under that first dot and we hit because I was at 330s and I hit one I'm about to go find 
see if I got good blood on it. I have no idea. But I'm going to go over here and see if it worked. But it was the first mill dot, and it hit. But I just don't know where. I couldn't really tell. I thought it looked good, but it might take a while to bleed out at that distance. So we'll go see how that worked out for us. But this guy here was about 450s, and I went in between the first and second dot. That was what I was going to give it a try. So it, it definitely hit, so we'll see how that worked out for us. No idea, because I don't know this weapon hardly at all. But I did notice on our... Uh, on our bigger Gimsbok there is a 334.49. Well, Diamond, I believe, is 337.5. So that means we've, we can only get better by three points. So we came out of the gate swinging with that one, everyone. That, that might be pretty tough for us to beat. So let's see. Anyway, let's get on this. Uh... All right, guys. Well, look at that. That is definitely vital blood. Fantastic, let's get on it. We should have got a good hit. I can't believe that happened. I, I was just testing the rifle and after that first one hit, I thought, okay, maybe I'll go back a little farther and find another one. And we did right here. That did not go very far. Man, for that long of a shot, what did we get? What did we hit? All right, let's see. We're looking on yardage wise. The current leader is sitting at 393.24. And like we got a 452.39 right there. Look at that, perfect right into that lung. So we were aiming between the, wow, that's a thunder. Our first and second dot, and we hit right in there just a little bit high. So probably closer toward the first, below the first dot. But man, that's gonna put us out there on the board with the muzzle loader at 452.39, that is out there. It's going to be hard. We're going to have to look for some good elevation to try to get that yardage to go any further and hope there's no grass because this that this spot really hurt me from the grass and I was pretty much level. Didn't have any elevation, so it's pretty much going to be render for sure. But a 273.94, not too bad, but we will definitely get this guy entered because this is going to be a challenge for some folks, especially with this muzzleloader. It's not impossible by any means. It's just going to take people a while. We just got lucky on our second um, attempt at a long shot and... Uh, contacted so that was just pretty much a luck sighting in I guess but uh pretty good we'll we'll be sitting on top of sniper and first place right out the gate on the first night all right well we got a nice mail over there up to 339 we can improve by three we have a 334 I think diamonds 337 he might improve us a little bit so we're gonna do that because we are where I was. We are in perfect range for this. Let's get that safe lung shot right there behind the shoulder. Oh, we must have dropped in the heart. See that? This thing, that had to be in the heart. <laughs> wow. All right, we'll take it. I'm going to wait till I get my reload done here. We're going to check, see if he fell in the water. It looks like he might be floating before I take off running. Looks like he's getting closer. Reload is done. Let's go here. Let's see. Yep, we'll just wait here for him and we'll see if he improved our female score. All right, we made it over here finally and looks like he's almost standing up walking to us. <laughs> Man, them horns are huge. Let's see. Again, we are at 334. Did we improve? 317. No, we did not. But man, that is a nice big old male. 317.64. But not a trophy for the lodge and not gonna beat our high score so we'll keep at it I heard walking by here oh no 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 this guy's like right here on it what size is that one okay he's max weight uh oh uh oh Oh, my dog. That'll put a hit on him. And we got a stampede. Oh, he went down right there. All right, here we go. <laughs> that was uh, very interesting, nonetheless. Right in our face. We'll see. No, 3686. 
Uh, fun deal. That would have been pretty cool. Well, we just spotted a very, very big female. 329 to 369. And the diamond is 337. So, it's not guaranteed. But a pretty good chance. And we're, oh, <laughs> this is what happens. They always want to move right when you're about in your range. We're still going to try to drop her with, uh, oh, oh, where did you go? There. With our muzzle loader, but she's just going to come closer. We'll, maybe she'll stand right here in the opening. Oh, almost. We'll try to work our way around, see if we can't get it a little clearer. And then we'll use our uh, muzzle loader on her. And hope we got a diamond. Now, this won't be any good for the competition. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. All right. We're not going to mess around much more here. We need to go right here. In case somebody does come and stand in the way. Like my dog. And we hit her. Definite hit. Okay, we're dropping. And some big old long horns. Maybe we'll get our diamond this weekend. But, or it's maybe she'll be a little bit more point. Ours is uh, 334, 0.49. We got about three points we could gain yet. All right, there she is right here in the trees. And nice long horns. Did we do it? It is a diamond, 343.14. They got to be 337. We did mission accomplished. We still got our diamond. Not going to be useful for the competition but definitely is useful for our lodge that's for sure a level four female 443 pounds and what is max weight yeah they're in 529 because this is a female it's not going to get there I, I believe and 135 yards with our 50 cal now luckily i didn't hit the wrong button i was trying to turn my flashlight off and i was double hitting buttons there and i ended up saving her so we'll have to go taxi her back in the trophy lodge but she saved at least Luckily, I didn't hit X twice instead of square. <laughs> well, I came up to the top of this plateau to seek some elevation for some Gimsbach. First one I look at over there is a legendary cape. And we are way back here for him. I think we'll move in, make sure we get a... Because we only have our 7mm. We want to make sure we get a good penetration let's see what we can do here well, I take that back because if we get low we're gonna lose vision so I guess we'll try to slip it in right here into that long about 260 we can might as well lay down give ourselves a nice steady shot here just got to catch a long that angle should be good. That should be good. There he's dropping. He's a 50. There we go. He's a 148 to 171. They got to be 151. So if he lands in the middle there, we'll have it. But nice brown. Looks like he might have went down there. I wasn't paying attention. What do we got over here? Are you upset? All right, nobody. Well, let's go check him out and see if that worked out. Huh. Oh. All right, well, we got a dance. Oh, we'll just take him right away then. That is not who we're after. Uh, here's the guy we're after. Let's see here. Ooh. We'll see if we made it. No, he is a troll. <laughs> a troll cape buffalo. And he, he's a 150. Got to be 150, 135. That... Man, I can't even remember the last time a Cape Buffalo trolled me. Bum deal. Look at that. Barely any penetration at all. Barely. <laughs> oh, well. Can't have them all. Man, I don't remember the last time I was trolled by one of these guys. Well, all right, that's going to do it for week three on our seventh season on the channel for the Hunter Competition Series. And we were after the Gimsbach out in Savannah. 
and we came away with a big W. We took the first place spot finally. It's been a while since on a regular competition that we were able to get a win, but we did. And we did it with our female, or because it was golds only. We did it with that female right off the bat, 334.4. Now those Gimsbach are 337.5, so we were really close to Diamond and there were some right behind us right behind us so we uh, lucked out very first one we took on the weekend now as far as the uh, sniper award went that didn't pan out for us we were taken down and that was pretty sweet pretty good deal a lot of fun those competitions are fun watch the back and forth and knocking each other off so uh, that was a really good time but the uh big trophy for us this weekend besides winning obviously was our diamond gimsbach and she was at 343.1 so just a little bit over diamond which again is 337 so we did come away with our diamond and the win for the weekend so we did get in the top three for our second time this season after three weeks and that means we cannot do that again in the next five weeks before the tournament but we can obviously go for the diamonds and we certainly will try to do that but we still got the sniper award twice and the jackalope twice we're going to look at getting those done for sure as usual looking forward to seeing where we head next week and what the competition will be for week four of our seventh season in the competitions here but i appreciate you all coming along and joining me for this video and thank you for staying this long to it but if you enjoyed the video please subscribe to stay notified and shoot the like button to help others find the channel if you didn't thank you for watching this long back to work on our next video until then